Well, it certainly was another warm day out there today, but it was a stormy afternoon for a lot of the us here. Uh, taking a picture here from uh, Joe uh, from Goreville showing those storms. You got those clouds and even a nice lightning strike right in the center there. So uh, certainly an active afternoon today with those storms and showers continuing. Those have since cleared though throughout our area and now uh, finally uh, looking at some dry conditions. Uh, you can see our live camera out here in Carbondale showing you that things are moving uh, nice and steadily out on the roadways with this dry weather. 73 degrees, 72 the dew point, so it certainly feels a little bit muggy outside with that southerly wind around 5 miles per hour. We're going to have another cold front move through tomorrow, but it's a dry cold front. It'll help cool things down here quite intensely. 73 for Harrisburg right now, uh, 72 for Dixon Springs, 77 for Sykeston and Kennett, 75 for Union City. All of us sitting in those mid to low 70s. That'll continue throughout the evening and overnight. We're expecting those clouds really to stick with us here throughout the morning hours and our temperatures staying pretty warm here in the low 70s as well before of course that cold front does move by tonight. Those showers and storms clearing out of our area for the day on Sunday though. We do expect at least some isolated storms to the south. Our southern viewing area in northwest Tennessee and the boot heel of Missouri has the best chance of seeing maybe a few isolated showers or storms as that cold front continues to push towards the south. And then as we head towards next week after we get behind that cold front, some refreshing air heading to our region. It's going to be a great weather, at least for the beginning of the week, to get outside and enjoy uh, everything that this weather has to offer. Our future cast showing you, of course, all of that cloud cover here tonight. No rainfall, maybe a few spurts of uh, sprinkles or showers by the morning time in and around western Kentucky. Uh, but overall, most of us staying dry. We'll wake up to mostly cloudy skies. That'll continue to push towards uh, the south with that cold front. We'll see sunny conditions for southern Illinois by the time we get to around noon and you can see uh, down towards the south in northwest Tennessee and the boot heel of Missouri. You have the best chance of seeing some of those showers and storms as we head through the midday hours that continues to push south and as we head throughout the afternoon and evening another cold front moving by this one dry though and that brings a much more stable atmosphere to our region and a cooler one at that. You'll want to keep the Storm Track 3 app downloaded and ready to go. You'll of course get those 10 day forecasts and hourly forecasts and of course you'll have that radar right there in the palm of your hand helping you to be able to track out exactly uh, where those storm systems are. And of course over the next six to ten days we're talking about a big time cool down not only for us here in the central US but also towards the east as that cold front helping to bring more more in the way of cool weather to our region. That muggy meter, again, that humidity that we've been dealing with goes down in a big way as we head towards Monday and Tuesday. It's going to be feeling very comfortable out here across the region. Now we do bounce back with the humidity as we get late into the week, but as you'll see with the seven day forecast, our temperatures still staying at average or even below average as we continue things on. That seven day forecast we were talking about, we'll start things out here warm tomorrow in the upper 80s. Again, those isolated storms to the south. But as we progress on throughout the week, look, 80, low 80s there. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, best day for sunshine. Going to be Monday and Wednesday. And of course, those temperatures staying in the low 80s throughout the week. Could see some of those scattered storms towards the end of the week when that humidity increases. But overall, Jake, things uh, looking quite nice out across this forecast after the upper 90s we were dealing with last week. You know, I have to ask you, I'm looking there and I know you said it's a cool down. I was out today. I'm sitting there going to the car show <laughs> filming and I am sweating and sweltering. Yeah, so I, I don't know if it's misleading at all, but it, it's still hot out there. No, yeah, the humidity is still sticking with us. That secondary cold front tomorrow coming through. That's going to bring that humidity down. So when I go to the car show tomorrow, it shouldn't be as hot. Maybe the next day and then you'll be good. <laughs> well, next week. Well, yeah, next week. All right. Thanks, Nick. We'll check